The results of this uh, particular system as it's moving away from us, of course, we had fairly intense storms in the area last night. A few uh, areas getting some strong wind gusts, a few tornadoes southwest of our area. And we got a pretty decent amount of rain, but all that rain is about to head out, replaced by some very strong winds on the backside of the system. A very intense upper level low right above us right now. You can see the cold front already into central Oklahoma. That's where the heaviest of storms and the strongest severe weather is at the moment. We do have a few rain showers left over in our eastern Texas pan. Handle counties right now from Shamrock back over towards Canadian, still getting some light to moderate rain up towards uh, Perryton and Lipscomb and Higgins as well. And get a few brief rain showers over towards Beaver. That is activities on the way out. May get a few brief rain showers on the back side of the system. You can already see a little bit of that action over towards southern portions of Union County and northern Quay County. Nothing severe from that. In fact, we're going to be switching over to talking about very strong winds after all the rain is done. Let's talk briefly about a few of the storm reports we had last night. Tucum Carry. A 60 mile an hour wind gust. Of course, that's just the tip of the iceberg of what we'll be feeling later on today. Amherst, down across the southern portion of the Texas Panhandle into the Lubbock area, a 58 mile an hour wind gust. And Dement, uh, no wind gust actually reported, but a steel building was completely destroyed about a quarter mile southeast of Dement late last night around 11:30. Now, no reports on whether that was a tornado or not. More than likely at this point, it looks like it was, again, strong straight line winds. A few tornado reports down around the Lubbock area and out into eastern New Mexico. And that's been about it. Of course, we've got a pretty decent amount of rain, over an inch of rain here in town. Several spots getting an inch and a half for our southern counties. So far for this morning, temperatures, well, feeling a little bit more like March. We're 45 here in town, 50 degrees out towards Pampa, 40 in Clovis, and 41 degrees in Clayton. The winds are already ramping up to, say, the 15 to 30 mile per hour range for this morning and will continue to intensify later on in the day. On the ag forecast, briefly, humidity around 86%, not quite as heavy as it was all day yesterday, only dropping off to 20 Five percent in the afternoon. Soil temperatures in the upper 40s to start out the morning. Take a quick look at our future sky wind cast after 10 o'clock this morning. Here come those winds mixing down from the upper levels of the atmosphere, and we're talking wind speeds from between 40 and 50 miles an hour. Wind gusts approaching 70 miles an hour at times, and really not dying down at least until later on this evening when we have another cold front coming in from the north and west. Highs today, well, our temperatures will reach the 50s and 60s, but keep the jacket on hand with those strong winds. It'll feel fairly cool all day long. Chill with the high temperature of 72 here in town. We top out at 64, 59 in Clayton. Here comes that next cold front on the back side of the system, and we'll actually feel the winds calming down a bit overnight, getting a little bit on the blustery side for Thursday, but not quite so bad as what we'll feel today. Those winds uh, today may cause some damage across the high plains, so anything that's not tied down may be blowing away. Keep that in mind. For Thursday afternoon, we'll heat up to 49 instead. 50s on Friday, calmer conditions going into this weekend. And then St. Patrick's Day, I eh, can't complain about that. Mostly sunny with a high of 60. You can always check out that seven day forecast at myplains.com and again.